Are you serious? Are we still talking about Syria? Of course we are. You know why? Because just because Putin and Obama got a deal, just because everybody's happy in Washington and they can go argue about Obamacare and the debt ceiling, doesn't stop the murdering, the massacring, the madness, the meanness, the Muslims, the maliciousness, and the, may the mayhem that's going on still in Syria. <sighs> Okay, Nick of New York got this to me. Look, we're going to cover it better in detail today in the three-hour show. Quickly. Grounds to believe that Syria attack, chemical attack, was a smart provocation by Putin is still here. Russia has every reason, he said, to believe that the use of chemical weapons in Damascus, Syria, during August, was done by the Muslim Brotherhood. Quote, we have every grounds to believe that it was a provocation. Of course, it was at or and smart. But at the same time, uh, primitive in terms of technical performance. They took an old Soviet-made missile, he said, which was taken out of service in the Syrian army long ago. It was most important to have made it in Russia, written right on the missile. Putin said, uh, according to Vladai discussion forum, the Russian president pointed out that on August the 21st, the attack in Damascus was not the first time chemical weapons have been used in Syria. Quote, but why haven't other cases been investigated? The chemical weapon attack must be thoroughly investigated, and those behind it must be identified, said Vladimir Putin. No matter how difficult it might be, but if in the end we manage to answer this question as to who committed this crime, and that was certainly a crime. The next step will follow. Then, together with our colleagues from the United Nations Security Council, we will have to define the level of responsibility of those who committed the crime. He stressed that measures like military strikes cannot solve every international issue, while should also be brought to uh, the UNSC, the United Nations Security Council, rather than discuss it openly in the United States Congress. So there you go. Putin still upset, still believing that it wasn't Assad that did it, that it was the Muslim Brotherhood. And so we will wait and see. Why did Obama compromise and join Putin in going ahead and giving Assad to remain in power and letting Assad have six months to get rid of any chemical weapons that he has. Why did Obama compromise? That's the question. we got to talk about it. There is Bible prophecy on it. We will be in Isaiah 17 and in Jeremiah 49, not only to talk about Syria, but to talk about Iran. That is your next bigger, bigger problem than the chemical weapons that so dreadfully were being used in Damascus. I'm Pastor Paul Begley. I'll be right back. I'll see you at 12 noon Eastern at our website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com, also livestream.com, also blog talk radio, and we'll be there for three hours today, September 19th, 2013. Give your life to Jesus Christ, folks, because we're living on the edge of eternity. We're at the breaking point. Seriously, we are at the breaking point of time.